hello guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm do blinks and this is links art here i give you tips tricks and techniques on how to get your artworks done now this is one way i normally shade my backgrounds when i want to get the smooth backgrounds and a mid-tone for my artwork i scrub off graphite or charcoal on the paper and i use a beauty blender to dab it all around now after dabbing the graphite all around the paper so that it can scatter all through i use the beauty blender to shade all those values into the paper making everything a lot smoother the reason why i use beauty blender is because beauty blender can really uh unify values and they can be very very smooth when you blend with them now it's a thing of layers if i'd want to make it more darker i just go ahead to add more graphite or charcoal on the background right now i'm using graphite because i don't want to create a complete dark valued background i go ahead to start blending once more with my beauty blender sometimes i can use this to create a vignette like uh, a background that tends to be a lot darker on one side and gets a little bit brighter when it comes to the actual drawing that is something i tried doing here but later changed my mind and blend everything to get uh, a normal mid-tone now one thing you don't want to do when you are doing something like this is place your hand on the paper now when you place your hands on your paper while blending it can result to inconsistency as a result of the oils in your palm trying to trap more graphite or charcoal hence making that area darker than other areas like as you can see over here so this is pretty much how sometimes i blend my backgrounds using a beauty blender i prefer using a beauty blender rather than using cuttings for my blendings it's something i've seen that works better than it so you can possibly try that out make sure to subscribe to my channel ring on the bell so you don't miss any of my tutorials i'm doing blinks and this is links art till i see you next time keep creating